I know. Ramiro Gonzalez, but it says Ramiro G. Gonzalez. What oh. does the G stand for? Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez. <laughs> What are you, twins? No. Are you pinch heading for your father? No, uh, I'm Gonzalez, Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez, because my father, before she married my mother, he was Gonzalez. <laughs> what does your wife call you, Ramiro or Gonzalez? Uh, she called me Pedro. <laughs> Pedro Gonzalez Gonzalez had already been performing as a musician and comedian for decades when he made his 1953 appearance on You Bet Your Life. Well, do something that you do very well. Okay. Well, when I dance, I, I just dance la jarabe tapatio. His performance caught the attention of John Wayne, who quickly signed Gonzalez Gonzalez to a multi-film contract. He would appear as comic relief in John Wayne films like Rio Bravo and The High and the Mighty. Wait till I'll show you what is in this package. Then you tell me if I do not know about women. If I had bought this myself, senor, everyone in town would have known. And it's not the sort of thing that Consuelo would like to have known by everyone. Ay, ay, ay. You see? And they're not beautiful, senor. Can you make the picture how she will look? You sure you want me to do that? <laughs> no, 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 senor. Do not make the picture. It's best for me to... <laughs> Where is she? Ah, I do not know. Where'd you get this? I find it, amigo. Where? In the place that is called Tyler Spring, in the road of Porter Town. Do you know the place? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Carmelita, that's my burro, you know, my burrito. She was very thirsty, so I stopped for her to drink a water. Yeah, yeah, go on. It was in the spring where Carmelita was drinking. Why didn't you tell me this before? Amigo, you was talking to the beautiful senorita. Yeah, you were. Uh, you were. Uh, you buy some strings for your guitar, huh? Si, senor. In addition to film, he began making regular appearances on TV in the 1950s and 60s. He would act in programs as varied as Gunsmoke, Perry Mason, The Monkees, and I Dream of Jeannie. Had a little trouble, Pedro? <laughs> No, Senor Nelson, I'm having a lot of trouble. This poor, she's no good no more. Yeah, well, keep trying, it'll start. You're right! <laughs> From the sound of it, it's more powerful than my car. <laughs> Having left school at age seven to begin performing alongside his family, Gonzalez Gonzalez never learned to read or write. He would learn his lines by having his wife read them to him. He also performed voiceover roles in some later Looney Tunes shorts, where he would even receive on-screen billing, a rarity for actors other than Mel Blanc. 
For these cartoons, he was credited simply as Gonzalez Gonzalez. In my profession, I encounter many peculiar situations. But one of the strangest cases I ever had was with a gringo by the name of Daffy Duck. Senor Duck came to my office about one year ago in a condition of extreme shock and depression. I asked him to lie down on my couch and tell me his troubles from the beginning. It all began as I was sitting in the park one day. Although his appearances on television would slow down in the 1970s, Gonzalez Gonzalez would continue to perform live and act in films until the 1990s, and he would pass away in 2006 at age 80. Two years later, he was posthumously given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm just happy that I'm, I'm a part of this and that we understand the history and who these people were and the kind of struggles that they went through to make sure that other actors of um, color got an opportunity to do this, that he was the kind of professional that showed up, showed up on time, did his job in a way that made Hollywood producers want to hire other people that looked like him and sounded like him, that paved the way for me and Clifton to be standing here in front of you today. Pedro, we could do a great act together. We could make a fortune in vaudeville, you and I. What, what, what would we call our act, you know, if we went out together? The two hot tamales? No, we could have called it Gonzalez, Gonzalez, and Marx. <laughs> That's nice billing. Two people in the act, and I get third place. <laughs> He's looking for a cheap 